Well, that was quick. So, Sonic Frontiers 2 is supposedly in development. Take that with a grain of salt, though, because this has only just been leaked, like, within the past 24 hours. So, which is crazy that we're getting this. The, the, the rumor mill, ha the, the leak mill has not stopped at all for the Sonic series. Like, seriously. First, we got Sonic Heroes Remake leaked, and then we get all these mobile Sonic games getting leaked out, like Sonic Toys Party. And now, Sonic Frontiers 2 it's getting leaked. It just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. Man, Sega really loves leaks more than Nintendo. I mean, Nintendo hates leaks, but, you know, good on Sega. <laughs> good on Sega, because we can't wait for this news to just drop. So, I first heard about this when Sonic Stadium tweeted about it on Twitter via this post from one of their users, um, saying that Comic Book first talked about it, and that led me to this post from Daniel Richmond, who is a, um, who is known for getting scoops and news stories on, like, the entertainment industry, basically movies and TV shows. He doesn't really dive into games much, but he just, he dived into games now, and it's, like, the news is locked behind a Patreon paywall, unfortunately. But, thank goodness that our Lord and Savior, Midori, coming in clutch, confirming that this news is correct. So, with Sonic Frontiers 2 now being in development, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, why have you not hit that subscribe button? It, it's free. But also leave a like if you happen to enjoy this, if you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content. Much appreciated. Sonic Frontiers 2 now being in development. It's only just been over a year since Sonic Frontiers first initially launched. And we just got the Final Horizons update, which wraps everything up in a nice little bow and is like, bro, piece de resistance. So, we, us now getting a Sonic Frontiers 2 Probably not soon. It's not going to be anytime soon, I'm guessing. This is They just started development. So, again, take this news with a grain of salt because it is not officially confirmed by the Sonic Twitter accounts or any Sega accounts. Not confirmed at all. So take this with a grain of salt, if you will. But let's read some of these news articles and see what we can pick from them. The original rumor was posted by Daniel RPK on Twitter and Patreon. Generally, they're seen as a re relatively reliable source, though the track record, record is far from perfect. However, after fans noticed the original rumor, they took to Twitter to ask another leaker about the validity. Thankfully for fans of the Sonic for Tears, the original post has been confirmed by Midori on Twitter, further adding to the credibility of this leak. Of course, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. Now, here's, here's the kicker part. Here's the kicker part. Midori claims the title is a sequel to Frontiers in gameplay style, but the name might change. Frontiers was Rangers until it was announced. So the key, the, the key meat and potatoes of this entire leak and rumor speculation is the title is a sequel to Frontiers in gameplay style. I'm gonna go to my brief thoughts real quick about what I would want from a Sonic Frontiers 2. It's not like a long list, but um, with the fact that Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Frontiers did dive back into a little bit of 3D Sonic's roots in Sonic Adventure, especially with the story. Like, I want to talk about the story real quick, too. Is what I would want from a Sonic Frontiers 2 for its story, I'm, I'll get into gameplay in a second, but I love how Frontiers 1 dived into its story with, like, going back to the roots and bringing consistency. Consistency is key, Sega, and they understood the assignment with that. They brought back the, the, the chaos. They brought back the Ancients. They're called the Ancients, Connor. And I totally did not need to record that because I totally did not screw up the name. And in this Frontiers 1 story, and I love how they're we're coming full circle right now with, with everything that this come, come and gone. Like, they brought, they mentioned Dark Guy from Sonic Unleashed. Just to show you what I mean by the consistency, here are some voice clips and some um, different uh, cutscenes that talk, show what I'm talking about. the place what is your end goal eh, it varies sometimes it's a spinning sign sometimes it's a big old ring create an alliance with sonic what but, but together you stopped the arc overcame neo metal you i don't want to hear it those alliances were purely out of desperation but... whatever assaulted the island sure packed a punch that was on par with dark gaia easy the echidnas? Pfft. The black arms? Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. They're relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Given all the trouble he gave me in Station Square and on the Ark... I wonder if Cream and Sticks are free. <laughs> Make a road trip out of it. That right there? 
That's why I want to see in my Sonic games. The story consists consistently evolving and sticking to like stick the, oh, the story like sticking to each other in a nice nice neat little timeline. Again, I'm sorry that I'm starting with my words. I'm not really good with talking without a script in front of my face. But with that being said, you know what I mean. That's what I want in the story of my Sonic games. Now, let's talk about gameplay too. While Sonic for Tears when it launched was kind of its own thing in the boost formula it did evolve the boost formula into that open world kind of aspect now what i want though m-o-m-e-n-t i-u-m is that you spell momentum no m-o-n momentum you know what i mean i can't spell i need to go back to kindergarten momentum man momentum <laughs> Like, literally, if you should, like, I just captured gameplay, like, a couple hours ago before recording this of Sonic Frontiers, and I have mods that Sonic fans have made themselves, and they have put momentum into Sonic Frontiers. If the fans can do it, Sega, why can't you do it, man? Why, why can't you put the momentum in the game? And, like, even Evening Star, in their latest, in their latest, like, release of Pain's Big Breakaway, they put momentum into the game. Like, if they could put mo like, the creators of Sonic Mania put momentum into their own game. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't, I just don't understand, man. I don't understand. Does Sega just despise momentum? I know there's a little bit of momentum in Sonic Superstars. If I'm wrong, I, I might be wrong. Sonic Superstars had momentum from what I remember. And I don't understand, like, why does, was, does 2D Sonic the only one that can have momentum and 3D Sonic just can't have momentum? Like, what's up with that? But I do like how in future updates, they did add on to that. They did add on to it and gave... They didn't give it momentum, though, unfortunately. But in the future updates, Mori Kishimoto and the team at Sonic... Sonic... Um, Sonic Team, they added the spin dash. They added a whole bunch of quality of life improvements to Sonic's movement. And that's what I want. But I wish it was there at the start of the game instead of later on in an update. That's... I'd rather have it at the start and have it in the whole package than wait for it. You know, I, that's what I want in my Sonic games. I want it there from the start. And, um, there are a few tweets that Mori Kishimoto does point out about Sonic Adventure gameplay. Now, unfortunately, these Twitter posts aren't available anymore on Mori Kishimoto's Twitter account. But this, or these is, this is Mori Kishimoto's official Twitter account. Um, and he has posted these in the past. And he states right here, When we started making this game, we were really worried about whether or not to use the boost, but we decided to use it. Even now, we are thinking about trying to make a Sonic game without the boost in our next game. And my favorite giant bosses are the first and second ones. And then, this next, this next post that he posted says right here, Of course, I understand the benefits of boosting. Please rest assured that we will also experiment with the coexistence of boost and spin dash. However, I would also like to try level design without boosts, like the Adventure Series. After all, the Adventure Series is a legend. He knows what, bro knows what he's talking about. Bro knows what he's talking about. He knows what's up. He knows what's up right now. So with that being said, let's talk about Sonic Adventure and Sonic Frontiers coexisting with each other. Because that's what I want. I want Adventure to make a comeback. Whether it be through Sonic Frontiers 2 or in the Sonic Adventure 3. Whether it's one or the other, make a comeback. Whether it's the style, the gameplay, the story has definitely make a made a comeback for sure. And I love that. I love that Frontiers 1 dove back into the 3D Sonic roots of what made 3D Sonic so great in the start back in 1998. I love how they dove back into that. What I want, though, in my next mainline, in the next mainline Sonic game, is for Adventure and Modern Sonic to co coexist. I mean, but you know what I mean. I want both the dream, I want both the Dreamcast Sonic era and the Modern era to kind of coexist with physics, gameplay, story. We def we're definitely getting there with the story. And while I love the boost formula, because again, my I've said this multiple times in my previous videos recently that Sonic Unleashed was my very first Sonic game. And I grew up on the boost formula. I grew up on that, and I love I love it dearly. I do love the boost formula. It's something that feels satisfying. The boost for, the boost formula is, in my opinion, what also helps make you feel like you're going fast as Sonic. That's I feel like that's part of it. But I feel like Sega's now using the boost formula as a crutch. I feel like they're starting to get a little too out of hand with it. I think they're starting to depend on it a little too much. So I wouldn't mind if they went back to I. I, if they went back to fully adventure gameplay and physics and like gameplay style, I wouldn't complain. I mean, I would kind of miss the boost aspect, but I wouldn't mind it because I think boost um, does make you feel fast on its own without the boost, even with like, just the normal spin dash and the fact that it has momentum. See to see why adventure and boost can coexist because we get momentum and boost and it's the best of both worlds. Just like the gameplay you're seeing on screen right now, literally 
is fans have shown when Sega couldn't do it themselves that the boost formula and the adventure formula can coexist in the same game. It's possible, it's just they, that Sega and Sonic Team have not done it yet. And I hope that they do it for the next game because that's what I want in my Sonic games. I want that I want all elements, all aspects of 3D Sonic in the past years, in the past 30 years, to come into one Sonic game. And that might not be possible, but I believe it's possible. Because if fans have shown it's possible, there's no excuse that Sega can't do it. That's what I'm saying right now. Now, one thing that I need to talk about right now, again, this is just my brief thoughts. I'm going to do this in a future video. But literally, Cyrus Space stages, man. Like, what, what, what were we doing with that, man? What, what were we doing? What were we doing with that? I mean, literally, if we do a Frontiers 2, it's going to be, it's, they said it's going to be like in the game. They, it's again, not official, just leaks. But it's been claimed that it's going to be in the same gameplay style. So I'm wondering if it's going to still be open world and there's going to be those small pocket stages. I want those physics to be way more fleshed out. I want, I, I feels like I'm kind of locked, like locked in the amount of freedom I have when I'm controlling Sonic in those environments, in those cyberspace environments, and it doesn't feel right. So I hope in the next game, if they do those same pocket stage stages kind of layouts for the um the next game, I hope that you, f it, it, hope that they free the control, like free the move, you know what I mean? I hope it, free the movement, free the movement. You can't move as freely as you can in the open zone area of Sonic Frontiers, and that's what I hope they fix with the cyberspace stages, along with the fact that you don't keep reusing assets and level layouts from previous games. Come on, bro. What, what, what are we doing, man? Look, what are we doing? But back to Adventure for a second. I want to get back to Sonic Adventure for a second. I want to talk about elements that they could bring from Sonic Adventure, and those elements that they could bring from Sonic Adventure are all the 3D elements. I mean, they obviously have connected back to the story, and if they're gonna keep connecting to Sonic Adventure's roots in terms of his story, they could bring back more of the- because, they, they, again, with the, um, the, um, the Sonic Frontier short, Divergence with Knuckles, they tapped into, like, the, um, into, like, Knuckles' um, duties as to, to protect the, the Master Emerald, and with Sonic Adventure and the Echidna Tribe, I feel like they could bring back to Call in some way, shape, or form for the next front- for the next, um, Sonic Frontiers game. That is, if, if they are going to continue with that story. I don't know if they're going to continue with that story or not. I sincerely hope so, because I loved the tone. Again, what, now I want to dive into the tone of Sonic Frontiers' story. Like, the tone of it, the serious tone with it, I love it. Although, the set pieces did seem a little too realistic, and I feel like they could have died. Now, I'm going to talk about Sonic Heroes now for a second. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. I apologize. But, again, I'm rambling with my thoughts right now. I'd be more re I would be more organized with the script. Again, subscribe with notifications if you want to see a more organized video about my thoughts. Anyways. With Sonic Heroes as set pieces, like, was, I love that Sonic Frontiers did a more serious tone for um, the story. Like, I love that. I love it. I kind of, it kind of makes it feel like it's treating its fans like adults, even though it's series is for kids, and it, the, you know Sonic at, at first is for kids, no doubt about it. But I love how it kind of treated it kind of like adults, and I kind of like that. I did kind of like that about Sonic Frontiers, the serious tone to it about the loss of the aliens and like the tribes got annihilated by this big moon, the big moon shot guy in the sky who's trying to sc blow our faces off with lasers. That's what I love about the Sonic Frontiers story. It's serious and it's tone and the and the way it um d the direction it takes with it. I love that, and I want to see more of that in my future Sonic games. Like seriously, that's what I love. That's the main thing that I also love about the story. So I feel like they could add more to that if they decide to continue with that direction. They could add more to that with um to call and the Kinder Tribe. But I feel like it was a little too re too realistic too real world too too real worldy if you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean so i feel like they could add and i hate to bring this up because again while i may not like sonic heroes as much as everyone else i do need to give it some credit with its set pieces because its set pieces were set in the kind of a real worldly style but it was still in the goofy ass style that we love as sonic like back in stages like grand metropolis and rail canyon those are stages that I kind of do miss in the Sonic series, especially considering the fact that those stages are lively, they're vibrant, they have a lot, I mean, uh, Grand Metropolis mainly has a lot of action going on in it. It has, like, so much happening in its environment, traffic in the air going to, going on with their daily lives. Seriously, there's a lot going on in the Sonic Heroes stages, and that, 
I feel like a lot of fans have been asking for that to come back. And I kind of agree with that in some way. I do agree with that. But I still hope they continue that serious tone in some way while keeping those set pieces. It may not be possible to do both, but again, these are just my thoughts. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you would want to see in the Frontiers 2 in terms of its story, gameplay, physics, or its set pieces, or like what tone it takes. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Please, let me know. I would love to hear them, and I would love to reply to them in the comments below. But yeah, overall, I do have good hopes for Sonic Frontiers 2. I think after all the updates we've had with Sonic Frontiers, the whole package, the whole package of Sonic Frontiers now with all the updates, that's the Sonic, we're getting closer to the Sonic game that not only I want, but the game that we all want. All want as a, as a fan base. And I think we're getting close to that. And I feel like they could add elements, again, from adventure, from, um, from hero. I mean, I mean, maybe heroes. Or maybe heroes. I may be a little biased, but, you know, oh, sorry, sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit you guys in the mic right there. But you know what I mean. We're getting closer to getting that definitive Sonic style, that Sonic formula in the 3D form, in the 3D era. And I hope, I hope. I do, I do think they'll, I do think they'll nail it down, but I hope that they nail it down to where they get all elements and bring them all into one nice, nice big sandwich, nice biz, a nice big uh, Eggman Unleashed sandwich, you know what I mean? It's a nice big old sandwich, but anyways, um, that's my thoughts, um, I am excited, but I'm gonna keep this as a grain of salt because, again, it's a rumor, we got, we gotta make sure we don't get to get it to our heads but anyways let me know you guys thoughts in the comments down below about a sign for choose 2 i'll be doing a follow-up video at some point about this i might as well just start scripting it actually after i edit and upload this video thank you guys so much for watching the video as always and if you happen to like this video or like a little like just like a little something about it make sure you leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to see more sonic and nintendo content i stream frequently um i'm trying to get more streams out there i'm trying to get more videos out as well so do keep in mind with that anyways guys i'm gonna dip for now thank you guys for watching i'll be seeing you guys in the next one peace out.